what I am going to show here is a bit of a rare instance, but I have had to do it a few times across a few models, and that is when the traffic absolutely will not work. Traffic reporting is what I'm talking about, specifically FM traffic reporting. Now, if I go to the settings here, yeah, it's searching, but it works. And we can confirm that it's actually working by going to volume and then pressing and holding the top right corner. Actually, you know what? I'll do it this way so you can see it better. Here's my thumb going to the top right corner, pressing and holding. And if I go to developer info, oh, if I didn't say this, this is the 2689. So this applies to 2497, 2597, 2599, and so on. Probably also for most drive smarts, although I should check that later. But anyway, so I go to developer info and then traffic. And on the receiver dashboard, now, it's not showing greens right now, it's scanning, but if I put this up near the window, I'm, I'm inside indoors right now, but if I put it up near the window, this goes green, and it shows that, yeah, you saw a little flash of green there, oh, there it goes, so it's trying to pick it up right now. Now, what I have had to do, it's not this screen, it's actually the providers, I think, okay, I got my providers yeah on the providers screen i have three of them which is uh, here here is the provider of the map data for garmin automotive units and then total traffic network um i not exactly sure how to describe that it's radio stations in an in a network of sorts i'd have to look that up i used to know what it meant but Anyway, you will see two to three of these. And if the traffic absolutely doesn't work, then what I do is I go to this page and I re I'm not going to do it right now, but I reset, but that's not the end of it. Because after I do the reset, yeah, see, it, it's scanning. It's going through. Yeah, we're still not seeing greens on here. And yeah, from here you can test H. It's funny that it has HD testing in here when it doesn't support HD traffic, but it's still in here. Also DAB, which is a UK thing, a uh, Europe thing. So I can't test that here either, but it's in here anyway. I can only test RDS, which is the only thing showing anyway. And you see it going through the radio frequencies, the FM frequencies, trying to do it anyway. Once after doing this, I have would have to plug this into Garmin Express and then reinstall all the maps because what that does is that it provides a newly updated FM traffic list. It's supposed to pull this and get it on its own, but sometimes it doesn't. So I'll have to go and then get the uh, the updated traffic list, which is the list of FM frequencies, so it knows what to scan. And then when I go back to settings, after all that's done and I reinstall the map data, even if it's writing over existing map data without an update, then in traffic it will show a current provider, like I have the provider here. I mean, it does show a dollar sign, though it's free. But, yeah, and then I'm good and, and see, yeah, I am in fact getting a little itty bit of a signal here. Again, I'm inside. If I was outside, this would be four or five bars. Then it would work. Um, and again, this is something where I've only had to do it a, a few times. I think only three times across all the garments that I own. It's a very peculiar issue, and I don't know what causes it, to be honest. Well, what happens if the traffic doesn't work and this and that and, oh, it's it never goes green on that uh, dashboard screen? Well, what happens, if it can potentially happen, is a software crash. Because if you're driving along with your Garmin and it just, 
and traffic is oops, sorry and traffic is enabled what will occur is that the unit will just shut off or, or reboot or something like that and there's no error message of any kind and the only way to get around that uh, should that be occurring on a regular basis assuming it's not a memory problem assuming it's not a memory card problem is I would go to traffic and just disable it because at that point it's only working with GPS and it's not GPS and FM at the same time assuming the traffic uh, was the problem and there was a glitch when it was receiving data that will temporarily cure that glitch until you get it back to the house re uh, reset the provider list traffic provider list plug it in the Garmin Express and then redo the whole thing yeah it's a really annoying tedious process especially considering there is no warning or explanation of it I honestly don't even remember how I found out about it originally but I did and then I was able to save a couple of the units I had that were, uh, I will describe as crash prone, where again, I would be using the unit even in simulation and a glitch of data would come across over FM and bruh, it would just reboot. And I'd be like, what is going on with this? At one point I thought, as a matter of fact, this one, this specific 2689, I thought was junk. I thought it was junk, but then I remembered. I said, oh, oh, wait a second. I should check the, um, oh, and as a matter of fact, I'll show you exactly what happened. Let me go back here. And I will show you exactly what I saw that was uh, the trigger, so to speak, that made me do all this. So I go into the traffic settings here. Where was it? Yeah, it was on this screen. So I went to traffic receiver subscriptions and I compared this to, I mean, I thankfully have the ability to do this. I compared it to another 2689 or 2699 and I noticed that right over here it said slash zero no map. I was like, oh, there it is. There it is. And then I went and redid the whole thing where I reset the list into a Windows 10 laptop, in the Garmin Express. <laughs> I even manually deleted the maps just to make darn sure that it got all the uh, updated stuff in here. And it did, and then when I came back here... Oh, and another thing it was doing, was it on the dashboard? No, it wasn't on the dashboard. Oh, it's still doing it. Oh, actually, I know why it's doing it. You notice it says receiver mode 3 RDS. Well, it's normally supposed to be 5, but I know why. It's because I don't have it up in the window right now, because ordinarily it would go for 5. And the state would be, yeah, there it goes, the number's going up. It's supposed to be more than 10 when it's getting a bunch of frequencies. I'm not going to get into the details of that, because this gets, like, super nerdy, and it doesn't matter. The only thing that does matter is you want it to work. So I found that little no map thing, redid the whole shebang, and then... Ta-da, now I have traffic that when I go over to traffic and I look at my provider list, I've got a provider. And again, it's still one bar, not enough. But were it in the window or in the car, sure, it would work. So I was able to save this one, and I've saved other ones by doing that same process. The likelihood of you having to do this is rare. It, it's a rare thing when it happens, but it, I have had it happen, and that's the fix.